That's little Miles. His laughter fills the room. He's playing unaware that a family on the other side of the world is waiting to bring him home. With more cases every day, we just wonder and you know, hope and pray that it's going to end. We first met Chris Cernich and his family back in February. We don't know when we, you know, we just want to go over there and bring him home. Back then they were in the final stages of adopting miles from China, but the travel restrictions kept them stateside. It does seem like there ought to be a way um, somehow. Nearly six months later and they still don't have their son. We thought COVID was going to be, you know, the worst part of this, but we hope that it doesn't become a big political thing as well. Susan Cox of Holt International, an adoption agency, says across the United States, there are hundreds of families approved for international adoptions, but they're in a standstill. When this first started, I mean, literally, um, I guess being optimistic, we were expecting it'd be a couple of weeks, maybe a month. We're trying to continue to support the families as much as possible. Sadly, there's very little news that we can share with them that they don't already know. What they don't know is when they'll be able to bring Miles to Bellingham. So in the meantime, they're preparing his room. Jade, their first child, also adopted from China, is eager to meet her sibling. She's really looking forward to getting her brother. <laughs> and as Miles approaches his fourth birthday, they can only hope he won't spend his fifth without them. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.